wasn't a matter of if someone was going to do this, but when. Arcos gambles and has created a dedicated console with the 7-inch Android Power Gamepad. It runs on a 1.5 GHz dual-core CPU with a quad-core GPU. And to make matter worse, because Ice Cream Sandwich was had controller support integrated into it, any game currently, not any, but most games on the Android platform have the gamepad functionality built into it. Now, why is this important? Because this is a direct attack on the model that we've all grown to know from Nintendo and Sony as far as pricing. This has the potential to completely destroy the handheld gaming market as we know it. No one ever took this threat serious when it was on a touchpad. But now that it's actually on a dedicated gamepad, what will the future hold for our quote-unquote current traditional console gaming experience? Will this finally undercut Sony and put them under? Will the Vita completely collapse once this game becomes to market? There are a lot of different thoughts and a lot of different emotions that could potentially just explode and implode. I don't know if you're for this or against this. Competition, they say, is good for the consumer. I do agree with that. But let's face it, gentlemen. A day and age where even Nintendo, let alone Sony, sometimes leave out basic things as online play in some of their handheld titles when we both know that Android titles sometimes support multiplayer and other online features. This could deliberately change everything. Get ready, boys and girls. The future is now here. In my last video, I made one statement towards the end that eventually, as more companies come out, that piece of the pie known as Nintendo could become compromised. And guess what? It's already begun.